In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest money plays in Madden 22 to really spread the field, give yourself a lot of options on offense, actually allow yourself some freedom, um, and actually be able to kind of freestyle a little bit out of the trip side information. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. So if you wanna get better at the game, be sure to hit the sub button. Also wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full trip side in offensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. You can get the full, all of my Madden strategy guides by becoming a Patreon member. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. And the link will be down in the description, get you everything, all the eBooks, all the tips, everything that we do over there. Now guys, what I wanted to talk to you about in this video was I wanted to talk to you about a really fun little offense out of the play verticals in the trip side information. You can find this in the Detroit or the New England playbook. I'm using Detroit in this video, but New England has the same stuff. Um, it just has some different running concepts and a couple different passing plays. Now what we're gonna do with this is really simple. We're gonna put the running back on a streak and then we're going to motion him outside. Now, what this is going to allow us to do is a couple of different things in terms of how we can attack the defense, okay? And from here, we can basically do a lot of different things in terms of, like, literally, this is where I just go crazy with freestyling. However I wanted to set this up, I will. So I'll give you an example, one of my favorite plays. We're going to we're gonna put the running back on a streak and motion him out. Then we're going to drag our tight end. And then on the left side, we're going to put the outside receiver on either a curl a comeback route or a fade stop and smart route it it's up to you i like the comeback route probably the most so you see this is what the play looks like now what this is really good for is for really any coverage especially zone so what you'll see is if it's zone coverage a lot of times those zones will pull back because of the verticals and you'll be able to throw the ball right to the tight end quick easy efficient easy completion for your offense now the other thing that I like about this is again, it really forces the defense to tell you what they're in. So let's say for example, that they're in Mike Blitz three. If this linebacker, if they're in Mike Blitz three, this guy will not move. But if he's in any other coverage, they this guy will move outside, outside wide. So let's say that they're showing, in this example, they're showing you a pressure, like a pressure look, okay? If they're showing you a pressure look, which you can do with this relatively easily, is essentially we're going to attack the seams. Well, what you might say, well, what does that look like? Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to streak our tight end, we're gonna streak our inside slot. So you see, it looks just like this right here. Now, on the outside of this, what we're gonna do is we're going to run a flat route to Johnson. We're gonna, we can run a curl route to Mike Evans. If we wanted to leave him on a fade, we certainly could. Um, and then what we're gonna do with our running back backside is we could put him on a simple drag route. So some kind of check down like this, I really like. Um, you could also you know, run a fade route and then maybe put this guy you know, right here on whatever you want. But what's good about this against the blitz is their user basically has to choose which seam is he gonna try to is he gonna try to protect is he gonna protect the left side seam or is he gonna protect the right side seam now you could also do this um, and I'll show you here real quick you could also do this like this so if we wanted to create a high low on the right side of the screen we could just simply take our running back when we motion him out we're gonna put him on a curl or you could put him on an out route or a comeback route. Any of those three or four things is fine. And then we're gonna drag this circle receiver. Now what this does is if they're in hard flat coverage, what you can do real quick is you can pass lead this to the left and you see that that little slot is gonna be wide open every single time with consistency if they're gonna send pressure. Now uh, you might be asking, okay, well that's good, but what do we do if they're in a man to man pressure style of defense a cover zero style of blitz well there's a couple things that you can do but my favorite thing to do here is we're still going to motion the running back out on a streak we're still going to run this four vertical concept now this is where the out route becomes very very effective to the running back because what you'll be able to do is if they're going to blitz you just throw this out route right they're real easy you can aggressive catch that or whatever to try to be able to get you know separation against man that's one of my favorite things to do let's say that they're going to press and they're going to shade in outside and underneath though and they're going to really get into your grill and they're going to try to really make life hard on you 
this is where I really, really suggest the tight end. I think the tight end is one of the best man beaters in the game. And so what we can do with this is we can run it just like this, but we're just gonna drag our tight end across like our original setup. And what this does, notice that the running back can't be pressed by the way, that's something else. So you could use a little zig if you wanted to do something like this. This is a really effective concept, why? Because the man coverage can't really guard that. As you can see, he still kind of freezes and I was shaded outside and underneath man to man coverage. They basically can't press the running back, especially if they're gonna be in Mike Woods three. Now, if they're in cover one robber, let me show you a little bit of a distinction here. Let's say they're in cover one robber. Notice that nobody goes out there to guard the running back. And who's guarding the running back? The middle linebacker, the user. So this is another reason as to why I really like this motion. You can kind of pop them like that if they're not playing disciplined defense with this. And so this has honestly literally become probably majority of my offense. Like I love this play and I love this concept. Now, again, when they send five, I want you to understand something else that we can do. Let's say we want to pick up the pressure and we want to mess with them a little bit. So if they're going to show blitz every play, you know, every now and then they're going to send the pressure. Well, what we can do with this relatively easily is just say, well, okay, we're going to block our tight end. And then from there, we can literally just do something. I mean, if you wanted to be, it depends on what you're trying to beat, but I mean, what, what I like to do is just streak the running back here. And then on the, on the left side here, we have this seam to Johnson. And then there's nobody pressing uh, circle. So we're just gonna run a, a simple little high low with him if we wanted to do that. Um, you know, maybe something like this. I mean, something as simple as this right here is really effective because this dig route is, is very consistent. It typically will beat man-to-man -man coverage and you're gonna be able to have to, you know, force them to do different things. Um, another thing that you can do as you kind of evolve with this concept and do a little bit more, you know, again, obviously, if most of the time, if they send five out of this, I will tell you, it does not always come in because of the alignment of this five wide set. I will tell you that as well. So let's say, you know, you ID one of the corners, it will help the line kind of slide and pick up a lot of pressure. But another thing that you can do back to my original concept here, just something simple like this. I think this is one of the best plays for zone coverage in the game, because if they run cover two, you're going to notice that this left side this um this seam and i got absolutely screamed at but the seam is going to be really tender in a cover two coverage so i'll show you that one more time so again just motion this guy out on a streak and then you can you can do whatever you want but i like to drag the tight end as kind of a shallow concept and then if you want to put this backside guy on a comeback you can if you don't want to put him on a comeback you don't have to but what you'll notice is that this seam to triangle Will almost always beat cover two up the seam this year. It's very effective against cover two up the seam. And then, of course, if you're let's say that you're, let's say that they're going to play cover three with this. If they play cover three with this, a lot of times what happens, obviously, you have your high low. But the other thing that's going to happen is this circle crossing route is going to have time to get to the corner just right in that little pocket. Now, obviously, if they're going to leave their hook curls, which they typically don't that's going to be wide open anyway okay so if they're gonna if they're gonna leave their hook curls and let the match work for them your drag your comeback will be your check down obviously one other thing i want you to see is how open johnson is against a cover three defense if they don't press him he will beat it every single time and so if they're gonna set they have to set zone drops in this defense um, in my personal opinion to try to stop some of the things we can do from this formation they pretty much are going to have to have their zone drop set if they're not going to if they're going to refuse to do that um, then you're going to hit this little seam to try and go all game long now the other thing that i want to quickly point out to you is once they start to set their zone drops and do some of this stuff circle becomes a lot more open because as you can see he's still getting deep he's still getting over the top of pretty much every zone and that's another yet another thing that makes this really difficult now I talked a little bit about how if they want to send five out of three three five wide that this will basically you know pick it up and what I mean by that is is something like this so let's say that we motion the running back out you put him on whatever you want so we're just gonna motion him out notice the safety goes out with him so you see this is what you're left with now if I send five out of this I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the tight end on a route and what you'll see is it does um, you see there I get screamed at so I get they get really good pressure as they should 
okay that's just the way the game works okay but what you can do to combat to combat that is just simply block the tight end so you'll see here we're gonna block the tight end and now I've got four I still got four verticals I can work with and this right here will absolutely you know if you have a little bit better route running there will absolutely roast it um, another thing that's very popular though is this inside quarter trick okay so if I'm actually getting blitzed a lot this is something that I will do to basically outflank the defense because they just don't have enough players to put in coverage on it so all we'll do real simple is we're gonna zig the triangle receiver and then you can leave Johnson on this route if you want to leave him on this route for cover two and then what I would do with your running back on the back side of this, you could leave him on a fade if you wanted to. You're still going to have all your zone beating stuff from like cover three, cover four. Um, that's really good. So you've got kind of a two vertical uh, type of concept. Honestly, on the back side, I would just run the running back on a little backside in route. And this is all you have to do. It's real simple. But this little whip will just roast them. And they, it, they can't run the quarter stuff if you're going to run zig routes. They're going to have to start dropping purples. They're going to have to start dropping zones. And so what they'll do is they'll do something like this with your man-to-man -man with two purples. And this is what they're going to do. So how can we combat that? Well, again, you have to understand you're in press coverage, right? So you have a comeback on the left. You have this little zig if they're not going to press him. You're going to force them to be in, in a max coverage perspective to stop this. But the other thing that I want you to notice is that this little seam streak now becomes wide open up the seam, especially if you have somebody fast to be able to be uh, get off the jam. So there's so much that you can do with the four verticals. Um, it just kind of depends on their tendencies. If they're going to run a lot of man-to-man -man coverage on you, then my recommendation, if they are, if they're if they're truly going to run a lot of man coverage on you, I would take advantage of a couple different things. Um, one of the big things I would take advantage of is the fact that your running back can is not going to be able to get pressed on there for the most part. The way most people play, um, he won't get pressed, and so the zig route is really good. Just a simple five yard quick hitting route to the running back, very effective. Another thing that you can do is kind of, you know, if you wanted to send five out, you know you're going to get blitzed, right? If they're going to send pressure, you you prepare for it, but this tight end route. Just having a simple, um, you know, something simple like a drag and a corner or a slant right here and a backside corner. This little concept right here will pretty much win you games. I mean, it's so effective, so smooth. And as you can see, I mean, it's just something simple like this is very effective against everything that they're going to do. If you wanted to, you could also put your, let's say you have backfield apprentice or backfield master. It's one of the best man beaters in the game. Put your running back on an, uh, a Texas pattern and what you'll see is his Texas route will almost always beat man to the inside might have to possession catch it but you see the idea so the sky's the limit with this obviously anyone that knows five wide knows that man coverage is probably the best way to defend it but if you can understand what are some routes that beat it really well well this right here would be a really good example something like this you've got your snap throw zig you've got your snap throw zig if they blitz you on either side you've got slants you've got so much that you can do to the defense if they do really realistically want to send pressure last thing i want to show you um sometimes this is what a lot of people like to do is they're gonna do something like this out of cover one robber because they want the press look at what happens you see that right there okay now they have to do something they have to make a decision and that's why this is so good so now they can they can send five but their user is over here and their user has to be here for the blitz to work so now what do they have to do well they, their quarter they want a quarter right now you've got them in a really tight position and this is not I mean all you have to do is literally just snap the ball and lob it up so this is how you can force them to have to play Mike Blitz three ball or Mike Blitz zero ball where they can't man the line against you to have an advantage. I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. Just kind of a little different twist on trips tied in that I don't think a lot of people really understand and have really actually labbed and tested. But this is this is one of the many reasons as to why trips tied in is so difficult to defend. That simple motion out of the running back. 
can cause so many problems to the defense. And if you really understand how to utilize the running back in an effective way, you can really make some stuff happen. I want to thank you for watching the video one more time. And if you want to get the full Trips Tied In ebook, everything is available by joining the Patreon. So you get everything when you join it. Only $10 to sign up. The link to sign up is in the description of the video. And we'll see you guys next time.